What's going on, guys? So I want to know, what is the best crew that still exists in GTA Online in 2024? Let me know what you guys think in your own opinion in the comments, all right? So look, I'm going to name off a few of these crews here that I can remember uh, from personal experiences and from people that have actually been in my lobbies and things like that. Uh, but no, let me know in the comments what you guys think. So first off, man, Ilex, uh, the leader, which is Vex, um, doesn't really play that much anymore, but... Uh, he was always chill, you know what I'm saying? I played with a few of his members back in the day a little bit. Um, and they were they were overall pretty good crew, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know their win-loss record necessarily, but they didn't have that many people in their crew. And um, they were all pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, second, Opex. Um, don't really have any background story for them. Index. Um, Index, I'm pretty sure, is the base crew. Uh, I don't know if they did running guns or anything like that, but Index is actually the ones, I think they're the ones that sent me the video clip of them stabbing Arson Y and uh, the, uh, Alex Zub or whatever his name was that went AFK in that lobby. I'm pretty sure that's the crew that uh, basically tossed him around like a rag doll, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I don't know if they actually went against um, DevX or anything like that, but DevX is another crew I know that a lot of people... I don't know. A lot of people have talked about. A lot of people obsess over for whatever reason. Uh, Sad X, uh, Heavy X, which I'm pretty sure that's Recoil's crew. Um, I think they're mostly beach players. I don't know. I, I'm assuming some of them play free mode. I know Recoil switched to free mode here and there, even though he said he would never play free mode a couple of years ago. But he has done free mode uh, in the recent years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, actually, this year. And and last year, I'm pretty sure, matter of fact. But uh, RNGK, OTGX, and XCal. Now, most people, most of these crews are either beach players or base players. And that's a lot of the tryhards in the community that I notice is, is one of the main things, especially with next-gen players. A lot of these people do not like to shoot ARs. They love the special carb or the, uh, sorry, they love the heavy sniper Mark II because it's broken. It used to not be one shot. It used to be a two shot before Rockstar put out an update and it broke and then they just never fixed it, right? <laughs> so, um, but that and the Rockets, right? So people love beach. They love hiding in invite only sessions. They don't like going in public lobbies. Me, myself, I like griefing, man. Like I had my own crew a couple of years ago now. But it didn't last long due to my, my uh, main account got in bad sport and then something happened and they got deactivated or something and I just didn't restart anything else. Now, maybe on GTA 6, I may start me up another crew, uh, but things are going to be a lot different at that point. But in the GTA 5 history of things, man, I mean, there's been a lot of, of crews and CVC fights over the years, but I feel like... You know, if you're going from like PS3 days or vice versa, I guess you could say Xbox 360. In my experience with PS3 days, the crew fights back then were completely different because people, you didn't even, you didn't have all this junk. You didn't have orbital cannons. You didn't have orbital cannon spammings. You didn't have BST like crazy. I think Brucey, you could call Brucey and get BST back then, but nobody was worried about that. People wanted to actually fight back then and have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, go from the city, like where I'm at right now, all the way out to like Fort Zancudo or out to Trevor's Air Base or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, back when Off the Radar had literally just got put in the game, it wasn't even a thing at the beginning. Rockstar put that in first. But that was literally the only thing that was there. But nobody played the way they do now. Because now it's like a score-based thing. It's like, okay, I have to be up on this guy. We have to beat this crew. And then now you can even change the gamer tags. You know what I'm saying? Which also plays a difference because if somebody gets up on this person and be like, oh, I'll just change my gamer tag. You know what I'm saying? But uh, all those crews I named off, man, I think are pretty decent for the most part. Correct me if I'm wrong, man. If you guys have your own opinion on it, feel free to drop it. And, uh, you know, the main part of this video, man, or point of this video is to, uh, to list out what is the best crews. Because, like I said, I mean, I know several different crews. I've been in some different random crews back when I was on PS4. They weren't really relevant to anything necessarily. I don't think any of them really did streaming or posted videos or anything. Um, some people did, but I wasn't like into it like I was back on PS3, man. Because a lot of people don't realize, you know, I had I had done auto aim, I had done free aim back then. Like PS3 days, man, in my opinion, were a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Because people weren't they didn't act as weird as they do now. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I mean, in an actual fighting situation, not being toxic, not griefing. 
actual fighting, ARs, you know, a lot of people didn't use helmets, you know what I mean? And at that point, you had to be good, or you had to be good at, to a point, because you didn't have third and first person. You had third first person, not first person. So you had to be able to have your aim better. If you didn't, you just got dogged on, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... We'll leave it at that, man. Again, let me know what you guys think. If you guys haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that like button for me, man. If you guys are new, hit that sub button. Turn on post notifications. And you guys have a good one. Peace.